The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 19, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 13th, 1973, in Bombay, India. Krishna Su Bhagavan Sayam. We have many times explained the word Bhagavan. Bhagavan means six opulences, riches, and Vaishadyasa uh, Samakrasa Vidyasa, potency, Vidyasa Jasasa, name, reputation. Oisadyasa samagrasa vidyasa dasasa sriya, beauty, jnana, knowledge, and vairagya, detachment. When one is full with all these six opulences, uh, he is God. Uh, so people try to get the opulences, everyone is trying by karma, jnana, yoga, but nobody can attain the opulences in full strength. That is not possible. So the simple definition of God is that one who is in full six opulences is God. That has been analyzed by great saintly persons including Lord Brahma, and it has been uh, decided that the, all the six opulences can be found in Krishna. Therefore, Brahma's degree is given there in the Brahma Sangita, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakarana Karana. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Aham hi adi devana mohan sinam sa sakta. So, that Supreme Personality of Krishna is giving us knowledge, the ultimate goal of knowledge, and the living entities, their body, uh, field of activities, in this thirteen chapter they have been very thoroughly uh, described, although Krishna said it is summary, uh, because they cannot be described in full. Uh, this body, how many bodies we are changed? Even in this life we are changing our body. Uh, every one of us a little body of a child, then little grown-up body of a boy, then youthful body, uh, then this old body, that we are changing body. Dehinasmin jatha dehi kumanam jungvanam jara tatha dehantara prat. Similarly, after giving up this body, I will have to accept another body, and there are four, eight million four hundred thousand species of forms of body. According to our karma, we have to accept another body. Karmana Dhaivana Trena. By superior arrangement. You cannot say that I want this kind of body. God is not your order supplier. You will get, either you ask for it or don't ask for it, according to your karma, you will have a next body. Karmana Dhaivana. By this superior arrangement. If you work in this life like God, you get next life as God's God. And if you work in this life as a dog, then you get the next life as a dog. That is not in your hand. Prajitakiramanani gunai karmani saros. Gunai, according to your quality, and you will work. And prakriti, nature, will give you a similar body. Otherwise, why do we find so many varieties of body? Ah. 
so many varieties just like so many varieties of apartment so many varieties of hotels so many varieties of apartment so you are appointed you are put into a apartment or hotel according to the terms of your payment that is called ah uh, so you cannot say everything is also equal that is not it cannot be equal because we are un- working under three qualities goodness passion and ignorance if we work field of activities this this body is field of activities uh, nobody can work similarly because they have got field of activities different my body is different your body is different you are acting according to your body the hog is acting according to his body the dog is acting according to his body uh, the president of some country is acting according to his body uh, so we should have brain to understand that why there are different personalities and different activities because there are different qualities uh, <coughs> so to organize human society these qualities should be taken into consideration uh, we should divide uh, <coughs> just like in our body we have got four departments this head department the arm department the belly department and the leg department everyone is working according to the departmental function the brain is working differently uh, the office or the direction the brain is giving the direction then my hand is moving my leg is moving uh, there, there must be a directory department in office also the board of directors then secretary then clerk then minions then servant then chakrasi so even in your body this arrangement is there how can we have it if you simply say that let there be all heads that cannot or let there be simply legs oh, that is cannot that cannot there must be the heads the legs the hands the belly Similarly, the whole society should be divided into that way, and they should work cooperatively. The central point, just like this head, leg, hands, they are working cooperatively for the benefit of this body, whole body. Actually, for the benefit of this body, because we are all working now for eating. without eating we cannot live then eating after sleeping then mating then defending first there must be uh, arrangement for eating so the practically the stomach is the king of in this body we are the stomach uh, there is a story udarendriana in the hitopades written by vishnu sarva uh, there there was strike Uh, all the hands, legs, eyes, they uh, observe, strike that this belly, the stomach is eating only, and we are working. Uh, so we shall not work. We shall not work. Stop working. Just like nowadays, striking goes on. So they stopped working, and after a few days, all of them became weak because they were not feeding the stomach. Then they arranged another conference. Why you are becoming weak? Then the fault was found out that because we are not giving to eat to this stomach, so all then agreed. I will let this stomach eat and let us work. Uh, so this is the nature arrangement. Uh, the stomach will simply eat, and the hands and legs and eyes they must work. Uh, similarly, the central point is Krishna, God. God must simply eat. Uh, you must work. We are all part and parcel of my body. They are like Just like part and parcel of my body. Uh, they must work, and the stomach shall eat. Uh, so this Krishna consciousness movement is that the Krishna is the central stomach, and you all work for Krishna. Uh, you are also very busy. Just like here is Krishna. We are all working for Krishna all day and night. 
But you are not starving. You are not starving. You are getting Krishna's Pradhan. Nice food stuff. Uh, so this cooperation should be. If you supply food to the stomach, the energy will be distributed to the hands, legs, fingers, eyes. And if you do not supply food, you cannot say that the fingers, if they capture a nice sweetness, and if non cooperates, no, I shall not give to the stomach. I shall eat. He cannot eat. The fingers cannot eat. It must give to the stomach and take the prasadam, energy. Then the fingers and eyes are going to be ah. So we must serve. Ah. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, the last instruction is that you surrender to me. Sarva Dharma and Parikta Mami Kam Saranam Brahya. So if you surrender to God, and if you serve God, because we are part and parcel, then we shall be happy. Uh, the energy will come from the center. That's like the energy is coming from the heart. Because uh, this is practical medically and scientifically. The energy is coming. The, as soon as the heart fails, everything stops. Uh, and the, the energy is there because Ishara Sarva Bhutanam Riddhese or Junatish. Riddhese. It is there, the Ishara, the Supreme Lord, as Paramatma, is situated within your heart. Now we find out if you have got means to see, uh, but the situation is living, described in this Shastra. Uh, therefore, yogis, they try to find out God within the heart. Dhyanavasti tatadvate na manasa pashyanti yam yogi. Yogi, those are yogis, transcendentalists. They are trying to observe the Supreme Personality of God. Dhyanavastita, by meditation. That is real meditation. Uh, to focus the mind, to see the Supreme Personality of God within the heart. Uh, but who can see? That is also described in the Shastra. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa Sadaiva Ridayesu. Again, Ridayesu. Ridayesu. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanena Santa, Santa, saintly person. We develop in Krishna consciousness the love of Krishna. Premanjana uh, and smearing the eyes with the ointment of love of Krishna. We can see Krishna, God, with these eyes. When it is uh, anointed with the particular medicine which is called love of God. Premanyana Chudita Bhakti Bilochanena Santa, not ordinary man, Santa, uh, advanced saintly persons. Uh, Santa Sadaiva Pashanti, where, where they see Ridayesu in their own heart. Uh, Santa Ridayesu Pashanti. Jam Shamasandaram. Achinta Gunasa Rupam, Govinda Vadi Purisam, Tamam. Jam Shamasundra. Krishna Janada name is Shamasundra. He is blackish, but very beautiful. Generally, we don't like to see blackish people. Uh, but Krishna is so nice. Although he is blackish, he is Kanda Pakoti Kamaniya. Uh, Barahavatam Samasitam Vudasundarangam. These are described in the Vedic literature. Although he is black, is. he is more beautiful than millions and millions of cupids. Kandatva koti kamaniya. So Krishna is so beauty. That is his godliness. Because beauty is also. Uh, we don't want to see Nira. Uh, beautiful, the most beautiful. Uh, the most beautiful. Krishna is the most beautiful. Ladaran is the most beautiful. Kapur. Uh, young Kapur. Uh, the, our object of worship will be see how nice Radharani, how nice Krishna. Beauty. Yes. Where from? The beauty worship has come in this material world. Unless there is beauty in the original form, Krishna and Radharani. Uh, so God cannot be the Rafa. Otherwise, why this beauty worship has come? It is said. Janma Dasajataha, the Vedanta Sutra says, whatever you see within this world, there is origin. It is only reflection. Uh, it is only reflection. It's like in the mirror. There is reflection of your beautiful face. 
and it looks beautiful because the face is beautiful. If the face is ugly, the reflection will die. Uh, so everything is there in God. Aham Adhi Deva, another place Krishna said, Matta Sarvam Pravardhate. Aham Sarvasa Prabhava. So Krishna is the origin of everything. Matta Sarvam Pravartate. Everything emanates from me. That is the answer to the Vedanta Sutra, Brahma Sutra, uh, Brahma Sutra, Adhata Brahma Jigyasa, Janmada Sujata. Uh, so the origin is there. The richness is there. The potency is there. The beauty is there. The riches is there. The uh, knowledge is there. And the detachment is there. Let's see here in this material world. It is all created by God. But how much He is detached? He does not live within this material world. He lives in his own world, in the spiritual world. He is no attachment, although he has created. That is also confirmed uh, in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya Tatavidam Sadvam Jagat Abhakta Murtila Masthani Sarva Bhutani Naham Tesu Abhasthit. Krishna says, Maya Tatavidam Sadvam. Whatever you see, that is my. Expansion of energy, just like the energy, sun is there in the localized place, and the energy, sunshine is distributed all over the universe. Uh, but you cannot say, because I am in touch with the sunshine, therefore I am in touch with the sun. You are simultaneously, you are in touch with the sun, at the same time not touching the sun. Uh, uh, just like at the present moment, at night, uh, we are not in touch with the sun, uh, because it is darkness. So, when we are not in touch with God when we forget Him. And as soon as we understand that everything is the energy of the Supreme Law, then immediately we become in touch. Uh, and that can be done. Preman yana chirita vakti vilochana santa sadai varilaya subhilopan. That's what Krishna says. It is chetraṁ tathā jñāṁ, jñāṁ chūkraṁ samāsata. My dear Arjuna, now I have explained you in summary, not in detail. What is this body? Who is the knower of the body, proprietor of the body? Chetra gaṁ. And what is knowledge? And what is the object of knowledge? These things I have explained to you. So, Krishna is explaining everything. Everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, you can become fully in knowledge if you read Bhagavad Gita carefully. But you must have the qualification. If you are a rascal nonsense, you cannot understand. This is plain thing. Rascals and nonsense cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. That is the first condition when Bhagavad Gita is taught to Arjuna. He said, Bhaktoshi Sathacheti Rasam Jetam Uttamam. My dear Arjun, I am speaking to you this mystery of Bhagavad Gita, which was spoken long, long ago to the Sun God, but now it is lost because the parampara is lost. Decidedly, succession is lost. Therefore, I am again speaking to you the same truth. So that from you people will understand what is Bhagavad Gita. So why you have selected me, sir? I am an ordinary a military man. I know how to fight. I am not a Vedantist, neither I am a Brahmana. So why you have selected me? Because the spiritual knowledge is meant for the Vedantist, Brahmana, saintly person, and so on, sannyasis. I am neither of them. And why you are selecting me? Bhaktoshi! Because you are my devote. This is the qualification. Without becoming devotee, no rascal can understand what is Bhagavad Gita. Again, the same thing is spoken to us. Madhu Bhakta Hitodhu Vijayam. I have explained everything. 
and samadhi. But ma only by devote we can understand, not others. Uh, that is also concluded in the 18th chapter. One can understand uh, God or Krishna. Uh, Bhaktyama Mubhijanati Javana Jashtani Tokha. If you want to understand Krishna or God, then you have to become a devotee. Krishna does not say the jnani, karmi, yogi, they can understand. No. Jnani, uh, <coughs> what is that jnani? Jnani, bhaunam, jnanam, amte, jnanavan, vam, rupadvati. That is jnani. If you do not understand Krishna, if you do not surrender to Krishna, what is the uh, value of your so-called knowledge? Uh, Samaye vahi kevala. It is simply waste of time. If you do not understand Krishna, you are studying Vedic literature. You are a very good student of Veda. That's our life. Have you understood Krishna? No, sir. Then it is useless. Useless waste of time. Because it is said, Vedaista sarvai ahameva vedam. If you actually understand, Vila, then you must understand Krishna. Uh, jnani, I am jnani. Uh, what kind of jnani? Simply speculation, waste your time. This is not this, this is not this, this is not this. Niti, uh, niti, vicha. This is going to waste time. Kevala bodha lantai. That is confirmed in the same way. Bhakti mudapasate vivo. Uh, Krishanti je kevala bodha lantai. Kevala bodha, simply to understand. And you can take any insignificant thing, and if you want to speculate upon it, you can write volumes of books. That is what is the use of such knowledge? Simply waste of time. Uh, but if by knowledge you come to the point of bhakti, how to surrender to Krishna, then your knowledge is perfect. Therefore Krishna says that this knowledge, to surrender unto me, how to surrender to Krishna, comes after many, many births. Bhavanam, Yarvanam, Hamte. We are taking birth one after another, one after another, one after another. So in this way, not ordinary person. Ordinary person says these are no knowledge. Then the, the next part may be cast off trees or no, anything else. Uh, uh, those who are in knowledge, who come bhakshanti sattvasva. Knowledge means those who are situated in the quality of goodness. Prakas, everything is clearly understood. That is knowledge. Uh, so they, persons who are actually in knowledge, they are promoted to the higher planetary system. Udham vachanti sattvaspa madhi tishthanti rāgasā. If you have no knowledge, simply you are trying to enjoy the senses, as in this material world, everyone is busy. How to enjoy senses? Then you remain here. Madhi tishthanti rāgasā. And if you are in darkness, neither you have knowledge, neither you have the capacity to enjoy this world, uh, simply lazy and sleepy, uh, that is the darkness. Then you become animal trees and other lower classes of species of life. Uh, these three things are going on. Uh, uh, <coughs> Therefore, uh, this knowledge means uh, that to understand the absolute truth. That process is described. Jnanam, amanittam, madam, vittam, khanti, ajivam, Acharya Upasanam, uh, Bhakti, uh, Mahajam Bhavishayam, Bhakti Yogin, Ajasri Bhati, uh, Adhyapa Gyanartham Darsanam, everything is described. Krishna said that for that it is Khetram Tatha Gyanam. I have described about this body and I have described about the knowledge and the object of knowledge. Everything I have described. But who will understand? Uh, that is also described here. Yeah. Madhavakta ekad vidyaya. So that is the qualification. Unless one is devotee, one cannot. So the politician 
they cannot understand Bhagavad Gita. This is simply missing. The politicians, the scholars, the so-called scholars, they cannot understand. Nāyam prakāsa saravasya yuga māyā samādhita. They cannot understand. You have to become a devotee. Madhavakta. The body of Krishna, not can, Deja Bhakta. Rather, I am Deja Bhakta. I am a Bhakta of my wife. I am a Bhakta of my country. No, no, you cannot understand. You get out. Madhavakta. Krishna Bhakta. It is clearly said. How these rascals try to explain Bhagavad Gita without becoming Krishna Bhakta? It is clearly stated. You have to become Krishna Bhakta. If you actually understand, if you want to understand Krishna or God, then you have to be that. So this Krishna consciousness movement is for this purpose. Uh, we are making propaganda to teach people how to become Krishna Bhakta. And then he can understand Krishna. And then as soon as he understands Krishna, he is liberated. Uh, Janma karma me vibham jo jana sitatta. Krishna has already explained. If you simply understand Krishna in truth, takta deham punar janvanayati. He, after giving up this body, he does not come to this material world to accept another miserable body. Then what does he go? Madhvati. Takta deham punar janvanayati. Mameti. He comes to me. He comes to me. Madhvav. Here it is also the same thing. Explain. Madhvakta ito dvijjaya. Madhabhava upapadyati. Madhabhava, my nature. Uh, what is that nature? Uh, Satchidananda Vidraha. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vidraha. He has got a body which is itana, sap, and chit, full of knowledge. Satchit and ananda, full of blissfulness. So, we are also searching after, because we are part and parcel of Krishna. We are also trying to become eternal. We are making scientific improvement. How to live long? No. Nobody wants to die. That is also described previously. Dharma Mukti Jarabhari Dukkha Actually, we are making struggle, hard struggle, just to conquer uh, over this miserable condition of life. Janma Mittu Jarabhadi. But that is not possible. Janma Mittu Jarabhadi, you can conquer when you get the same nature as of Krishna. Madhubhava Bhavadvati. If you are able to acquire that nature, Satchidananda Vigraha, then how it, how it is possible? That is Madhubhakti. Madhubhakti is the Vigraha. These three things, what is this body? Who is the owner of this body? What is knowledge? What is the object of knowledge? Uh, if we understand these three things, then we can get revive our original position. We are also Satchidananda. But at the present moment our vigraha, our body, is different. Uh, this is <coughs> subjected to birth, death, old age and disease. This we have to conquer. This is the problem. Uh, I don't want to die. Why death is enforced upon me? That is rascal, they have no brain. That I don't want to die. How I can escape death? That's why we are trying to escape disease. I don't want to be diseased. As soon as we become diseased, we go to a doctor, he take medical health, say, cure my disease, cure my disease. Uh, then why don't you go to a doctor who can give you Relief from death. But they have no brain. The educational system is so rascal now that there is no brain all over the world. There is no institution where people are being taught how to conquer over death. There is no such institution. Only this Krishna consciousness movement is there. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.